guys see on my channel, I shared with you a video talking all about fan fiction and the story time behind how I came across it and decided to learn how to hand bind some books for myself. I shared with you the entire process for it. And then afterwards, I ended up sharing a review for the first one that I decided to read, which was A Court of Mist and Fury from Rye Sands POV. I'll have that linked down below in case you wanted to check it out. But at the end of that video, I did say that the next book that I was going to be reading was Manacled by Senlin Yu. So I finally got around to reading it and I'm now ready to share with you my review for it. So that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. So just in case you're not familiar with what Manacled is, it is a Harry Potter fan fiction written by Senlin Yu and is available to be read for free online on the archives of our own website. I'll have a link for it down below in case you were interested in checking it out for yourself. But in this story specifically, you are following an alternate reality to the ending of the Harry Potter series where Voldemort actually won the war and the events that took place because of that. And you're mostly following Draco and Hermione, but you do get to see all the other characters that you're already very familiar with if you are familiar with the original Harry Potter series and it's very dark it's very twisted it's very disturbing but it does have a happy ending by the time you finally get to the end of it so that is all that I knew going into this book so that is all that I'm going to share with you because I do think that the more oblivious you are the better experience that you'll end up having because that's the experience that I had with it and I wouldn't change a thing for the entire world so with that said I am going to keep this review very spoiler free especially because I don't really feel the urge to overanalyze or even like say if this book was logistically perfect or not. I really do think that it just was what it was. And it was more the experience that I had while reading it that made it as amazing as it was. The book was amazing in itself. And there is a lot that I can deep dive and try to talk to you about. But if that wasn't the experience that I had with it, and therefore, I don't really want to make my review about it. I feel like all that should matter was how I felt while reading it. And that is what I can share with you while still keeping this extremely spoiler free. So that is kind of how I structured today's review. And I do hope that you enjoyed even though it's going to be a little bit vague in spots because I really don't want to give anything away. So this was without a doubt one of the best books that I have read in a really, really, really long time. It was one of those books that gave me like that gut-wrenching anxiety feeling of not being able to read it fast enough, but also knowing that I need to slow down and savor the moment because I'm only ever going to be able to experience it for the first time once. And this was that time. So I really have to just enjoy it for what it was. I kept holding myself back from trying to spoil it for myself. I kept wanting to like flip to the back just to make sure that everything was going to be okay. But I kept holding myself back because I knew that I would have a better time if I didn't do that and oh my god the time that I have with this was like unparalleled to anything that I've read in I can't even tell you how freaking long like literally for three days straight all I did was read this book from morning until night I woke up picked up the book read it all day took a quick like few breaks just like you know eat some food and like go to the bathroom but literally I was like sitting on my couch all day reading this from morning until night probably like 14 hours a day I read this book and then I would go to sleep dream about it and then wake up and do it all over again for literally three days straight I'm almost positive this was actually one of the biggest books that I have ever read in my entire life. I always used to think that Kingdom of Ash was the biggest book that I ever read because I'm pretty sure it's almost like a thousand pages long, but I actually looked it up and it's around 240,000 words. And even though I hand binded this book and it's only around 860 pages long, it's actually like 370,000 words, which is like Kingdom of Ash and then like half a regular size book on top of that. So I'm really not surprised that it took me three full days to read this book, but also like it did take me three full days to read it and it was one of the best three days that I've had in a very 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 long time. From the second that I started this book I was instantly connected to the world and the characters because as a Harry Potter fan I was already extremely familiar with it all but then Senlin Yu was able to take that familiarity and that backstory and the connection that I already had and somehow twist it into something extremely unique and different and was just a complete page turn from the very first to the very last page like I literally did not have a second where I was losing interest or where I was like okay this is dragon or anything like that like Literally, that's very hard to do when you have such a large book, but I was just fully invested in it literally the entire time. And I do definitely have to credit that to the fact that it's like this was an alternate reality to something that I was already extremely familiar with. Like, Senlin Yu did not come up with something specifically original in the sense of like the world building or anything like that. Like, she already had a basis to work off of, but I really do think that she took the originalness of it and then really made it into something of her own. Like, she really built on top of it and made it feel different 
yet familiar at the same time. And I really think that it was some, I can't believe, I don't even understand how she did it. That is how mind blowing the whole thing was. And since I had zero clue of what I was getting myself into, the layout of this book took me completely by surprise. And I know that I said no spoilers, so I'm gonna keep this extremely vague. But all I'm gonna say is that the second that I got to part two, I almost had a panic attack. But once I settled into it, I ended up really enjoying it for what it was. And I actually really specifically liked seeing all of the parallels in some of their conversations. And it was also very interesting to see where all of the initial random memories came from once I was able to see the context around it. I just think that the entire layout in general really blew my mind, especially because I had no idea that I was coming until it was literally in my face. And while this entire book was extremely sad and disturbing, it did make me especially sad to see the effects that the war had on Hermione, Ron, and Harry's relationship in this alternate universe. It really broke my heart to see how much more loyal and good of a friend Hermione was to them than they were to her. And it also like, I it was so hard to read about watching everything that ended up happening to all of them. But putting that aside, I really did enjoy seeing how far Hermione and Draco were willing to go to save and protect the people that they love. Like just the way that they were willing to sacrifice literally everything about themselves just to like save the people that they cared about was so freaking amazing and was what really made this book what it was. Like I really do think like that was the basis of this story. And even though it was really hard to like read about everything else about it, I really did enjoy seeing how all of like the Hermione and Draco like character development sort of stuff ended up going down. Like just slowly finding out everything that like was the motives behind everything that happened really ended up blowing my mind. And it was just, it was like nothing I've ever read before. And then as for the ending, I am not a crier. So I did not actually shed tears for this. But if I was a crier, I would have been bawling my eyes out literally until the very, very end. Just the way that it all closed itself off was so bittersweet. Like at the end of the day, the things that they went through couldn't have been erased. Like you still have to deal with the reality of their situation but just the way that it closed itself off was so sad but also so good and I just I don't I can't even fully explain to you how I felt about that ending but if you read it then you know so like I don't even have to try putting my 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 feelings into words but it was just I don't know I feel like the best way to say it is that it was just so freaking bittersweet and I feel like it just it made a lot of sense for the story I don't think that it was too rushed I don't think that it was too dragged out I really do think that it couldn't have gone down any other way like that was the way that it happened and I wouldn't have you know wished for it to happen any other way than the way that it actually did so with that said that is all that I have to share with you about how I felt about my experience reading Manacled and without a doubt I would recommend this to any Harry Potter fan that is open to reading a very dark alternative reality to what could have happened if the original series didn't end the way that it did and I do think that I'm never going to be able to look at the Harry Potter series the same way again like my brain is forever altered when I think about these characters when I'm going to watch the movies in, in the future when maybe I'll even decide to go back to the original books and reread them again like I'm never going to be able to look at them the same way again and I am not upset about that like whatsoever I do think like I had said before one of the best things about this that I didn't even realize was going to be a thing until I actually started reading it was the instant connection to it and that is why I'm extremely excited to dive a little bit deeper into the idea of Harry Potter fanfic specifically because I love the universe and I really like the idea of starting a book and instantly connecting to it just because you're already familiar with the layout, the world, the characters, everything along those lines, and you're just experiencing a new, like a different version of, you know, the same exact story that you're already familiar with. And I just think that it's something that I never really thought of, but I'm very happy that I noticed because I do think that that's something that can become extremely addictive. Like sometimes you're, you're not really in the mood to like jump into something new, to really go and have to like learn new characters, learn, learn a new world, learn a new anything. But by jumping into any Harry Potter fanfic, that is in instant and I really never thought about that until I finished reading this book so I am extremely excited to dive more like more into the Harry Potter fanfic in the future I'm definitely going to be hand binding myself a couple of more books I already have a couple chosen that I'm going to be doing very soon and I know that a lot of you guys have been messaging me and commenting that you're very interested in getting a tutorial on how to hand bind yourself and get a little bit more information on it than what I did share in my first video so just know that that is coming I heard that you guys wanted it and I am going to be working on it and I am going to be giving to you guys eventually, but it is going to take me a little bit of a while because it's not a very easy or simple or quick process. But anyway, with that said, that is everything that I wanted to share with you for today's video. So I really do hope that you enjoyed hearing my extremely vague and spoiler free review for Manacled. I had a very hard time putting my thoughts into words, but I do feel like I got out as much as I possibly can because my brain is still a complete jumble of how I really felt about this book because it just, I don't know, it did something 
and different to me. It's without a doubt going to be one of my favorite books from this entire year. One of my favorite books of all time, officially. I am so happy that I finally got around to reading it because it was on my radar for a very long time. And I'm just happy that I didn't push it off for any longer. So anyway, with that said, if you had any further questions for me, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer them and continue the conversation there. And also, if you've read this book before and you want to share with me your thoughts, I'd love to hear what you thought about this book because, oh my God, did I absolutely love it. And I'd love to hear if people had the same experience as me or a different one. So anyway, with that said, that's everything. So if you did enjoy watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you're not currently subscribed because I would really appreciate it. But either way, I just appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. So thank you so much for that. And with that said, that is all. So until next time, enjoy reading. Thank you.